Well, Amtrak taking full responsibility for the deaths of those eight people in a statement seemingly contrite coming from Amtrak CEO jo Joseph Boardman. Quote, Amtrak takes full responsibility and deeply apologizes for our role in this tragic event. So does this constitute an admission of guilt? Here now for more on that is attorney John Lynch. And John, common sense tells us that yes, in tragedies like this, uh, family members of the dead and those injured deserve some sort of compensation. But how do these types of statements uh, impact the process moving ahead? Well, I think that uh, the comments by the CEO are just generic in a sense that he's expressing his personal uh, remorse for the deaths of the eight uh, persons or passengers on that train. I would say more specifically in a civil negligence claim, it's not really going to amount to much. What they're going to look at is whether or not there was a duty of care owed, of which there was, and whether or not there was a general failure on behalf of the corporation that is Amtrak, which would then uh, lead to a, some sort of resolution or financial compensation. And we're now hearing that at least one employee so far has already filed some sort of lawsuit. What, how does this change the process moving forward? Well, I would expect that all eight of the uh, persons that lost their lives, their estates, are going to file lawsuits. I think that it really doesn't change the equation. Um, they're going to have to wait and see how the NTSB investigation pans out. Um, in order to get discovery materials and information that lends credence to their case, of which I expect forthcoming. All right, let's talk about another case which looks at responsibility of a municipal system, and that is Baltimore, because the state attorney also seemingly admitted to some sort of guilt in the Freddie Gray case. Let's take a listen. Lieutenant Rice, Officer Miller, and Officer Nero failed to establish probable cause for Mr. Gray's arrest as no crime had been committed by Mr. Gray. All right, now I've had trial attorneys say that when the state attorney said something like that, it really puts the Baltimore on the hook for perhaps even a bigger settlement in these types of cases. Is that true? I don't know that that's necessarily the case. I think that we're hearing new information every day that perhaps Mr. Gray did commit a crime. I don't think that the prosecuting attorney or any of the officials from Baltimore should be publicly asserting the guilt or innocence of the officers and or Freddie Gray without having all of the facts at their disposal. Um, I'll give you some examples are we have the issue with the knife in issue, whether or not Mr. Gray right. was involved with the weapon. And we have issues with respect to what the general orders of the Baltimore Police Department were with respect to um, restraining a passenger in, for lack of a better word, the paddy wagon. It appears as only nine days prior, there was a change in what the general orders of the police department were with respect to putting persons detained in a transportation vehicle in Baltimore. So I think that's unfortunately a little bit of politics playing with what should be a legitimate criminal inquiry. Yeah, and in both of these cases, when things seem to move so fast now, again, just a couple of days after that wreck, and, and we look back at Philadelphia, already a lawsuit being filed. Uh, this, is this just what our culture is nowadays? It's so quick to try and assign blame. We've got about 30 seconds left, John. I do think that we're, we're quick to assign blame. I'm a lawyer, but I'll say we're really, really litigious lately. Mm -hmm. However, I would separate the Baltimore issue from the Amtrak issue. It's looking more and more like there was some negligence on behalf of generally Am Amtrak, that's my mm -hmm. opinion, and more perhaps the um, uh, engineer and issue, Mr. Boss Bostian, well, obviously did something with respect to accelerating that vehicle up to a minute before it was supposed to go into a, a deceleration. All right, phase. John, we got to run, though, but two interesting cases and two legal results to ensue, and we'll keep our eyes peeled for those. John Lynch, thanks for being with us.